Um, so the the song um, Eight Ball, what inspired you to do that song? I mean, or just who? <laughs> <laughs> what inspired us to do that song on the yeah. record? Yeah, or just, I mean, did that to, you know, it's a real good song. I like that song. Um, well, it was an original. Like Spider Man. It too. was an original, and we were, oh yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> I guess we were, we were sort of scouring because we wanted to do all of our original songs. Uh, and it originally, <coughs> bless you, it started out to do, we just were doing demo tapes really, and then it eventually turned into a record. So, um,. We were just trying to do all of our originals, and I what like you, the words to that. What do you know about one. Central America? What do I know about Central America? Um, a lot of people are fighting down there. Rainforest? What? Is that where the rainforests are? No, it's South Central. Brazil. Central. Well, it's some in Central America, too. Central America, America too. Salvador, and Guatemala. Yeah, Panama, it shows Dallas. what I know. Because oh, it's, it's the thing I like about that song is that originally. I was reading about it, it was right around the Iran Contra hearings. Yeah. And uh, I was going, like, wow, this is bizarre stuff. And I thought. And like I walked through with the, the stuff about, you know, the hauling drugs and stuff. No, well, right. But anyway, I was trying to figure out what's going on in Central America. I had no idea. Except basically, people who who were farmers and stuff just got their asses kicked by powers and all that shit. So originally I was just sitting around and I read about that and I was staying in the house where this guy had all these books of uh, poems by some Spanish dude or Central American dude. I kept reading his books and painting houses and trying to figure out what was going on in Central America. And I kept going, I had this fucked up little piece of guitar and I'd go da 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 And I had no idea, I didn't even know why I kept doing it. But I kept going dun 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 And I tried singing up against the wall. And it was sounding about, you know, you're trying to just live and powers from other countries That's kick right. you in the ass. And I kept going, what? They're, they said, so the reason I was singing, you know, there are two sides, a right and a wrong. You're with us, for against us. Which side are you on? It's not that easy, is it? <sighs> up against the wall. Because, you know, you, you know, if you just want to live, you can't, you don't want to live on with America. You just want to live. So the cool thing is I didn't tell anybody that. I kind of told Kelly at the time, and I gave it I to her. I remember you talking about a song about up against and the wall. And the best thing is she comes out, you know, you know, there's no room yeah. behind the wall, which is precisely the truth. Right. So that's why we put that song. Right. When I was thinking about it, I was thinking about fear and loathing in Las Vegas. I kept thinking about Hunter S. Thompson, that guy, like, driving across the book. desert, cranked on speed, with, like, whoosh, nothing around, and that's what I thought about. So. so is there as big a drug problem in Georgia as they say there is, I guess? They no. say? Well, they, they say up north that that's the result, you know, all the pot fields in Georgia and uh, Kentucky. South Carolina, there's a lot more South Carolina. Kentucky we always is hear it's... Michigan. <laughs> yeah, Michigan <laughs> it's is, nice. is it's always country. someone else's backyard. Yeah. 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 Actually, we heard, where were we, where were we in Ohio, we talked heard it's in Toronto. Oh, really? And I've heard that in, in Iowa they grow it in between the corn. Yeah. You know, you, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. My dad is a policeman and he like busts the pot fields oh, in Georgia. Does he? he just it's like ho hum and doesn't I know he said it's always been like that. Down. Personally yeah, I know he has about pictures in the house of like him in the pot fields right before they burn them. Hey another bust for me. Pot in Georgia. Over the summer? The summer. There, there was, was up there was a lot up of, here. Lot of water. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of water. Rain. I know a lot of it, a lot of it, Georgia comes from South Carolina. There's a lot of it comes from South Carolina. California is a big producer. Gainesville. Right? Yeah. It was just what I know. For what we hear. Maybe the George Bush. <laughs> George Bush is a politician. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not yeah. We really don't want to he's a professional. I don't want to bring this to No, I wouldn't buy him a drink. <laughs> No. I just wish the the people who want to help the people would listen to him because he the whole the right is very gifted at manipulating people in a way that those who want to help people aren't. And I think if you were to really look at the past 10 to 15 years of Republican presidency, you know, you, you know the way they are able to say, oh, we are for America. The way they wrap themselves in the flag and the way they say, we want a tap or, I, I, we don't want a capital gains tax because it's going to hurt people who, it's going to keep, it's a whole thing about in America you want to be free. Right, it's going to hurt you because you won't have an opportunity 
to make a lot of money. If you win the lottery, you're going to be taxed and you'll only get a smaller percentage of it than it. <laughs> yeah, and they do all that. And basically, all it does is make the same small percentage, 10% or whatever, richer. And all the while, it's got those poor people going, oh, yeah, our country is, you know. And the way they do that, whereas the left, who actually wants to, actually has social programs and, and to help people, you know, they aren't, they, they just don't articulate their message in a way that could fucking do something for real. And it's a mind blow. And all the while, it's got those poor people going, oh, yeah, our country is, you know. And the way they do that, whereas the left, who actually wants to, actually has social programs and, and to help people, you know, they aren't, they, they just don't articulate their message in a way that could fucking do something for real and it's a mind blow. Well, where they get lost is they get lost in the, the bureaucracy of helping people. That gets in the way of the actual what they're trying to do. You but but it's, it's even, it's not even that, it's, it's something as simple as, you know, people would slam Reagan and Bush for sound bites and, and simple images, but helping people and, and social good should be as easy to demonstrate as, uh, as uh, materialism and, uh, and, and self-fulfillment and self-wealth uh, production. Well, I think that too much time is spent on re-election and, you know, sure. them, everybody wanting to get re-elected. That's the job. You got lobbying. Well, absolutely, and stuff like it's that. it's a total waste of yeah. it, and it's no wonder why Congress is so ineffective. They they spend all their time concentrating on being reelected. Re you have a budget uh, massive, and no one can cut anything because they're up for reelection, and th their main job is basically to keep the army bases open so that the proprietor proprietors of the magic markets won't lose business when the army bases shut down because the, the only customers are soldiers on leave, and you know that's. Stupidity is uh, not only that, but the strippers like around like the army that. bases. The oh, strippers right. around it's the true, army bases. It's true. See, it's all I of, guarantee you, it's, it's uh, ridiculous and absurd, but but true. I wish I had more than one camera for this interview. <laughs> It'd make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, we have our new machine, so we can do a lot of stuff. We can fake it. We can chroma key a desert behind us. And see. Hey, we like yeah. deserts. Yeah, Grand Canyon. That's yeah, a that, that's, place, a, that's yeah. a beautiful place. I want to go back there. But don't, if you go back there, don't stand behind the bars oh, that yeah. they, on this lookout place. Go s crawl out on the edge and stick your legs over it. Oh, yeah? No kidding. The National Park Service is going to get you, man. That's right. I'll take a ticket for that feeling. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was worth it. I had fun. I haven't been there in a long time. I was out there a few times, but it's... Go back. Yeah, I'd like to. You know what I want to do? Back porch video. It's like, like watching the videos on your back porch. Say something. Let's say something Bill, man. Go for it. I used to visit all the very... Gay places. Those... Come what may places. But instead, I'm stuck on the back porch <laughs> watching videos. Things could be worse. Is it appropriate to look at the camera, though? I never it's, know. It's, yeah, because I mean, my, you're, my you're natural intention audience. is look at the people who are living. Right. Yeah, you know, you're, you know, you're talking them. to the audience. This will be people now. The yeah, audience. This will be seen right on TV. Well, I don't know. Look at Jimmy Swagger. Jim oh, what? <laughs> I rest my case. Yeah, proves it. Once again. Wow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wow, that's a book right there. We're gonna write tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we rolling? Yep. I used to visit all the very gay places. Those come what may places. But now I'm stuck on the back porch watching videos. Where the Jody grind. And uh, things could be worse, Bill. Maybe. Yeah.